Hey everybody, David here, and today I want to talk about Wonder Woman 1984. Uh, this is the latest movie in the DCEU, and um, it was my highly most anticipated of this year. Uh, so it's finally out. What did I think of it? Let me soften the blow a little bit. Uh, I, I did not hate this movie, but I did not love it. Uh, I, I thought it was okay. Um... I'm going to say it was a little underwhelming for me. Um, I really did like the cast in this movie. I thought Gal Gadot and um, Chris Pine being reunited in this movie was a lot of fun. It was really great. That was the stuff that we loved from the first movie. Um, but I did feel this movie probably could have been shortened uh, by a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean like they could have cut out at least 40 minutes from this movie. Uh, because it, I was feeling it definitely um, throughout this entire movie. Uh, this movie takes a little bit of time to get going. Um, and then it takes a little bit maybe time to wrap up as well. Um, I will say that. So as for the rest of the cast, I thought Kristen Wiig as Cheetah was really great. Um, I thought Pedro Pascal as Maxwell Lord uh, was really great. I thought both of them uh, really... Um, I, you know, the villains in the last movie, the first movie, I think that was the weakness in the first film, where that, okay, the villains were all right. Uh, this one, I do think the villains were a lot better, um, but I do feel the overall story on where those characters went and how they were taken, I felt um, that was the thing that really fell flat to me. Um, where the first movie was set in, you know, World War One and had this nice uh, tone to it, this really, it wasn't gritty, but it was like, it was a, a tone of like discovery and you really liked that setting that it was in. This one, because it takes place in the 1980s, I don't know if, if they were trying to capture what movies from the 1980s uh, felt like. Like, uh, when you think of... I know the original Wonder Woman film was inspired by, like, the, the Christopher Reeve Superman movies. And I know Patty Jenkins says that this uh, influence uh, continues into this film. Um... <laughs> The, the Superman movies can be a little campy at times, but I feel that was because they suited those times. Uh, I don't think the campiness, because there was some camp going on in this movie, uh, I, I felt it was a little too much at times once in a while. Um, but for the most part, look, I, I think the movie was fine overall. Uh, I, I just felt... I was looking for something a little bit different um, and something a little bit more tight uh, when it comes to the story because I, d I do feel it dragged quite a bit throughout. Um, I was even having this, a discussion after the movie with uh, some people who I watched it with and um, my, my parents and my brothers. And uh, they, they felt the same. I think we were all on the same page, more or less, on how we all felt. Um, obviously, some people felt uh, uh, more negative than others. Uh, but I think, for the most part, we all agreed that it was okay at, at best. Um, I'm still looking forward to a Wonder Woman 3, <laughs> if, that, if that indicates anything. Because I do like... Uh, Wonder Woman, the character, and I do like Gal Gadot. I do like Patty Jenkins as a director. I think she did a great job with the first movie. And I'm still looking forward to Star Wars uh, Rogue Squadron, so um, I, I, I'm still rooting for her. I just wonder if there was some uh, meddling involved. I don't know. I, it feels like the whole movie of what they wrote was still intact. And maybe that's the problem with it. Um, I, I think I know what the problem could have been, but I don't want to blame it really on one person. Uh, I'll just say this, uh, Jeff Johns, who, uh, you know, the comic book, uh, writer, 
he's he's uh, written some television episodes from uh, some various DC shows. Like uh, he did a, some of the best episodes, as a matter of fact, of Flash and Arrow and Smallville. And I think he even wrote one episode of Justice League Unlimited. Um, he wrote Aquaman and he had a, a writing credit on this movie as well. Um, I, I do put Wonder Woman, if I had to rank Wonder Woman 1984, instead of being up there, like I think the top three are Man of Steel, the first Wonder Woman movie, and Shazam. I think those three, and maybe Batman v Superman right after. I think those ones are my top f for the DC uh, cinematic universe. I would put Wonder Woman down there with... Uh, I would put it above Suicide Squad and Justice League. It would be maybe right between Aquaman and Justice League for me. Um, yeah, so there you go. Um, look, it, it broke my heart to actually do this review because I, I was looking forward to this movie a lot. And I was when I heard the reviews were doing pretty well in the beginning, it got me really excited. But then... Um, I heard the reviews overseas weren't as great. Um, people were still liking it, but like it wasn't like overwhelmingly positive. And that I didn't take that into consideration, and maybe I should have. But I think it's an okay movie. If you guys like the DCEU for what it is so far, it has its ups and downs. This is probably more on the downside, but not a total disaster. I think there are still some cool things looking forward to. Um, hopefully I didn't spoil anything. There's some secrets that are in there that I didn't spoil. There's a really nice cameo. If you're a hardcore DC fan, you'll know who it is. Um, I'll leave it at that. So with that being said, guys, I hope you like this video. Please comment below and tell me your thoughts on Wonder Woman 1984. Did you love it? Or are you with me and you're like, it was all right. I wish it could have been better, but whatever. At least it was an okay time. Uh, with that being said, I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe to my channel because that always uh, helps support this channel and allows other people to find it, including commenting. So with that being said, until next time, take care.